Yo guys, Ponchi here, and today I'm gonna show you how to use your analog rhythm with Overbridge on Ableton Live. Let's go. Okay, so now one of the first things we need to do is prep our analog rhythm to be used with Overbridge. So of course, hook up a USB cable to your computer, and then go over to settings here. You wanna go down to system, go to USB config, and you want to make sure that Overbridge is the one selected. By default, you'll probably have one of these selected, USB MIDI, maybe USB audio or MIDI, but you want to make sure that Overbridge is selected. So the other thing we wanna look at, go ahead and hit no, hit no one more time, and then go up to audio routing. Now the first thing you'll see here is route to main. By default, it'll probably look like this, meaning you have all 12 tracks routed to the main output. So this is a decision you'll have to make depending on what it is you wanna achieve with Overbridge. If you have it set like this, all these tracks are going to the main output. So what you'll end up with on Ableton is one track that has all of these mixed together. So it just depends on if you want to do the multi-track thing or not. In this video, I am showing you how to do the multi-track thing. So in that regard, we have to turn all of these off. So make sure that none of them are green. So that way, we won't have a track that has all of these mixed together we'll be able to get each individual track separated cleanly. One other thing I do want to mention, if you're not already aware of this with the analog rhythm, you'll see how some of the tracks are connected like that. That's because the analog rhythm only has eight individual synth engines. So right here you have four, one, two, three, four. Those are all individual. These are a pair, so that's five, six, seven, and eight. So on Ableton, all you're gonna be able to get is eight separate tracks, which shouldn't be a problem because if you've already used the analog rhythm a bunch, you're already used to working that way. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, basically, for example, track three here is the rim shot and track three or track four is the clap. What I'm saying is you can't have a rim shot and a clap on the same step. You can only do one or the other. So that's just one of the limitations of the analog rhythm. Shouldn't be a problem, like I said, if you're already used to working with it, if you're not, if you're just barely starting out, that is something you might have to get used to. But being as this is still an eight track analog drum machine, it's really not a problem in my eyes. But keep in mind that if you're deciding on buying an analog rhythm, that is one of the limitations. But in my opinion, that's something that you really don't need to worry about very much. So. All right, guys, so first I wanna show you how to download Overbridge if you're not sure. So go to electron.se, that is the main Electron page. Go over to support, support and downloads, go down to Overbridge, and depending on Windows or Mac, download your appropriate one and install that. Um, as of, Today, the most recent version of Overbridge came out on January 31st, 2022. So if you are not up to date on that, uh, be sure to update. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to Ableton Live. Now let's go ahead and create a new live set. So this is the default live set. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these tracks here. 
So we're left with just one MIDI track. Okay. Now, once you install Overbridge, you can go over here to Plugins, go to VST, and go to Electron, and you'll have whichever ones you chose in the installation to install. Now, you basically just go ahead and drag Analog Rhythm down here, and this is the Overbridge window that pops up. Now there's a couple things you wanna keep in mind. The first one, I'm just gonna close this window for now. The first thing you wanna keep in mind is what I mentioned before about the audio routing. So if you have all those tracks routed to main, then what you're gonna be able to do is this. When you hit the pads, individual pads, they come in on this one track here with the Overbridge plugin. So this is good if you want to just create some samples from your analog rhythm and you wanna send those to other people. Maybe you just wanna build a track um, with someone else, you know, and you need some of the beats that you've created on here. Whatever it is you wanna do with some samples this is the way to do it because then that way you'll have, when you hit record, you'll have just one track coming from the analog rhythm rather than a bunch of tracks. And then you can easily export these into a single file and then you're ready to go. So, okay, so now if you wanna do the multi-track thing, you're gonna have to create an audio track for each individual track. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create eight tracks. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna do Command T. Okay, so now I have eight tracks. Each one of these, you're gonna go down here to Audio From and set it to Analog Rhythm. Okay, and then below that, you wanna set these to the individual tracks. So just go ahead and set these. Okay, and then when you record enable them, I'll just go ahead and do them all. You'll notice that you have each track coming through on it, their own respective tracks. And then of course, some of them are paired because of the whole choke aspect and the fact that there's only eight synth tracks. So I actually have just a simple pattern pulled up here that I made earlier before this video. So if I press play on here, it's gonna take the BPM from Ableton and it'll play the, the analog rhythm at that BPM when I press play. So you can see each individual track being played here. So now we press tab, we wanna record them. It'll also start playing them at that BPM when we hit record. Now I can select all the tracks and if I want it to be a perfect eight bar loop i'll just drag it over there and bam so now i have each individual track recorded and of course a couple of them some of them are shared with between two tracks on the analog rhythm but uh, there you have it so the other thing i want you guys to be aware of when you're using overbridge let's press tab again go to the mixer so let's go to the first track here that we have with the Overbridge plugin on it. Now there's one thing I want you to be aware of and that's sync up top here. So by default, it's set to clock and transport. So if you've ever sequenced MIDI on your analog rhythm or any of your other electron devices, you know how the sync thing works. Basically, you can sync clock, you can sync 
clock and transport. In here, you can also sync song position if you have song mode. Or you can do no sync. So say you've created a whole bunch of patterns and, and banks already in a project on your analog rhythm, and you have all the BPMs laid out and everything, you're going to want to set no sync here in the Overbridge plugin. Because if you leave it on clock and transport, then it will just go by the BPM in Ableton. And also it'll respond to play, stop, and record, which is the transport aspect of all of this. So that's one thing to keep in mind. You know, so just to sum things up, the two th two things you want to keep in mind with Overbridge here, whether or not you want to multi-track, or if you want to just record the main output coming out of your analog rhythm. And then of course the other thing is the sync that we just mentioned. So that those two things alone that gives you so much possibility to work with overbridge and your analog rhythm so hope that helps you guys if you have any more questions definitely leave a comment below and i'll address them individually if i need to make another video about it leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video